Hello friends, welcome back to Get Comfy with Comfy and today we're going to check out OVI which is in the character AI trained model based on one 2.2 and MM Audio that does video and audio together. It's kind of like VO3 but local. It's now available in Comfy UI thanks to the Kajai One video wrapper. You can prompt with an image and then you can prompt for the audio as well. Then you can mix all that together to make generations that have video lip sync to the audio. Hello, I'm uh, being brought to life with AI. Now we can generate videos with with audio locally. Let's have a look at the workflow. We got all of our settings over here on the left. We got our load image. We have our frame count, height, and width. All the models are being loaded over here. All the models are linked up here in the model links. You can click on those and grab them. The one, two, two OVI audio and video models. They go in your diffusion models folder. And then the VAEs go in models VAE. That's the one 2.2 VAE, which you probably already have. And these two over here, the MM Audio VAE, and the MM Audio vocoder. Once you've got those in the correct folders, just refresh and you'll be able to select them in these nodes. And if we look down here, we have our prompt. This is for the audio. We're using the UMT XXL ENC BF16. Safe tensors. This is available up in the manager in the model manager. You can just search for it and it'll show up and download into the correct folder. So here we have a woman exclaiming, and now we can generate videos with audio locally. And it explains how the audio caption is a clear female voice speaking dialogue, subtle outdoor ambience. The syntax for how to write these prompts is just above right here. Now you can generate videos with audio locally. If we move over to our K sampler, we'll see that we're doing 50 steps, but that's okay because we're using easy cache. Our threshold is down around 0 0.015 and I find it's skipping a reasonable amount of steps and I can get these generations done in about two minutes on a 5090. Still early days for this model, but it's very encouraging and it's really cool to have this power in our open source hands.